We have some breaking news in the NBA. Jimmy Butler has been traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. As you can see on the board behind me, I've got the full layout of the trade. The 76ers, they got Jimmy Butler, and they got Justin Patton, and the Minnesota Timberwolves, in exchange, got Robert Covington, Dario Saric, Jared Bayless, and a 2020 second-round draft pick. It's clear what the intentions were for the 76ers. In fact, I think that Jimmy Butler's been on the trade block for quite a while now. And maybe there was reports out there earlier in the season, maybe the Rockets would try to get Jimmy Butler to pair up with James Harden and Chris Paul. There's two things that stick out to me in this trade. One, the 76ers finally get the shooter the team is looking for. And they kind of need some veteran leadership. And Jimmy Butler, I think he can provide some leadership to the 76ers team. Because the 76ers, they're off to a good start this season. Third place in the Eastern Conference right now. Joel Embiid's having a good season so far. Maybe even a quiet NBA MVP type season. Ben Simmons, a solid start to the season. Markel Fultz, he's a work in progress right now. But adding Jimmy Butler to your team, it's going to provide a better presence as far as your shooting goes. And you can also form a big three with Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, and Jimmy Butler. And the second thing that sticks out is kind of what I'm saying with your big threes and stuff, is forming super teams. That's kind of the trend that's been happening in the NBA. LeBron James joining Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami. Kevin Durant joining the Warriors with Steph, Clay, and Draymond. The Rockets trying to get Chris Paul, James Harden, Carmelo Anthony all together. Boston Celtics, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Rondo, your big, kind of your big threes. So super teams have been a thing in the NBA for about the past decade. And we're seeing more super teams form right before our eyes. That's because right now that's the trend in the NBA is forming a super team. You gotta form super teams to take down the giant team. And right now that giant team is the Golden State Warriors. Because now with LeBron James out of the Eastern Conference this Eastern Conference is up for grabs. And right now, the 76ers put themselves one step closer to trying to get that. And the 76ers, they are struggling on the road so far this season. And it's going to take maybe a couple games for the chemistry of adding Jimmy Butler into your system to kind of gel together. But I think long term, it's going to work out very nicely for the 76ers. And it was very clear that the 76ers were going to eventually be buyers before the trade deadline. In fact, I think the Lakers will also be a buyer at the trade deadline too. Because right now they need someone to fit in LeBron's system. So the Lakers might try to pursue someone before the trade deadline is over with, coming up in February. But right now, this is a good trade for the 76ers. This is a trade that I like. I think it's going to work out very well for Philadelphia. And the process is still being trusted in Philly.